In this video, I'll share another down payment assistance program that is used in Georgia. The 2024 Georgia Dream Down Payment Assistance Program provides $10,000 to $12,500 in down payment assistance. It is offered through the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. Today, I'm going to walk you through the difference between this program and the FHLB Down Payment Assistance Program I did in my last video and show you the benefits of each one. Hi, I'm Mark Mitchell with Mark Mitchell Homes and Virtual Properties Realty. So what are the perks? There are three down payment loan options. The first is standard, which include qualified first time home buyers and they receive $10,000 in down payment assistance. Second option is PEN, which is short for protectors, educators, nurses, which include all medical workers and PEN also includes active military. This option increases the down payment assistance up to $12,000. Last option is choice, which means a member of your family is living with a disability and you can receive $12,500 as well. So what are their requirements? There are income limits and housing limits, but this program has higher income limits than many down payment assistance programs. In Metro Atlanta, which includes 24 counties, the income limit for one to two person household is $86,500. And for three or more, it goes up to $99,500. $500. They do have maximum price limits on the home as well. For Metro Atlanta, for instance, Georgia Dream allows you to go up to $350,000. You must also contribute $1,000 of your own money. You must be a first time home buyer or someone who has not owned a home in the past three years. You don't have to be a first time home buyer if you purchase in the green targeted areas in the graph shown. Be sure to check with your lender. You must have a 640 credit score. You cannot have liquid assets of no more than $20,000 or 20% 20 of the sales price, whichever is greater. Must be buying the property as your primary residence and you must complete a buyer counseling course. So who qualifies? First time home buyers and they are defined as someone who has never bought a home before or has not owned a home in the last three years. If you are buying in the target counties, don't have to be a first time home buyer. Pen and choice buyers include first responders, educators, medical personnel, active duty members of the military, and also families that have a member living with a disability. So what can you buy? Single family homes, FHA approved condos, and townhomes. All must meet FHA guidelines. So what are the pros and cons? Well, the first pro is the maximum income limit is up to $99,500 if you have a family of three or more, and for a one to two person household, it is still $86,500. The FHLB down payment program for a one person household is only $57,200 and for a family of four is only $81,650. So even though I like the FHLB program a lot, it's lower income limits can be an issue for many buyers. Georgia Dream green targeted counties do not require you to be a first time home buyer. The PIN and choice options allows you to go up to $12,500. Now for the cons. The biggest con is this is a loan and not a grant, so it has to be paid back when the home is either sold or refinanced. The FHLB program is a grant that is forgiven after five years. The second con is Georgia Dream imposes their own debt to income ratios that are extremely conservative if your credit scores are less than 700. This means that you will qualify for much less home if your credit score is less than 700. The FHLB program does not have their own debt to income ratios based on the buyer's credit scores and just uses the much higher standard FHA debt to income guidelines. Make sure to use a lender that is familiar with doing the Georgia Dream program and understands what they need as their underwriters can be very picky. Also allow more time to close if using Georgia Dream. Minimum 45 days to close. Georgia Dream along with many other down payment assistance programs charges discount points or fees to use the program. One discount point equals 1% of the loan amount. So on a $300,000 loan, for example, that would be an additional $3,000 fee added to the closing cost. Some programs charge more than one discount point. FHLB, Down Payment Assistant Program, does not charge a discount point to use their program.
So how do you apply? There are many banks that can do the Georgia Dream program, and I'll post a link in the description below, but make sure it is a lender that has done many of these loans or you'll have a lot of delays. I have a fantastic lender I've used for the last 15 years, and his team has done hundreds of Georgia Dream loans for buyers. So reach out to me and I'll get you in touch with him. Guys, if you like what you've heard so far, please like and hit that subscribe button. So what are my final thoughts? First of all, all these down payment assistant programs have their pros and cons, so knowing the pros and cons of them will help you make the best decision on which one to choose. Secondly, don't be afraid to reach out to me or a lender because it's never a no. It may be a not yet, but it's never a no. The absolute worst thing that can happen is you receive a lot of helpful information that puts you on a path to home ownership. If you have any questions, I'm Mark Mitchell with Mark Mitchell Homes and Virtual Properties Realty, bringing videos to help you on your real estate journey, and I'll see you on the next video.